for my abilities. It's just a big bottle. I've never seen that before. It's yeah. It's fill very it up expensive. with ale. I don't want to think. How I long actually it never me lift it. I have done. a special ladle. That it's like fucking something you find at Costco. God damn. So over here, um. There's a door that you can't see, but there's definitely a door here. This is my stove for making charcoal. So the stuff you'll use in your smithy uh, is made right here. Uh huh. On top of it, I make fish if I want fish oh. like today. Yeah. Um, miscellaneous extra ingredients for the, the proprietor. And then up here. Oh this my is god! Less this one's idea. larger. What? It's amazing. Oh, it doesn't stop. Trust me. <laughs> I'm pretty uh, sure that one's a joke. It was brought in, and I've never had to use whatever's in that. It kind of just looks like... I think it's just potpourri. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Pot -po 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 yeah, me too. I had the same thought. Yeah. Yeah. Cl close, close enough. <laughs> so this is my desk for all my business. Um, you know, I also do a little bit of alchemy up here from time to time, but mm -hmm. this is the second floor. The third floor is my own personal space. It's my ah. bedroom. But I won't poke around up there. It's <clears throat> humble in its own way. Yeah. Um, I know it's nicer than maybe most might have, but I enjoy it for what it is. I like it. It's very quaint. I like what you've done in the place. Yeah. Well, I've, I've told Ray Lynn that she's welcome here. Um, after what happened this morning with Tazim, it made it really clear to me that you three are really tight knit, tight knit and... Whether you're a jeweler, an armorsmith, a blacksmith, a alchemist, a bowyer, a shopkeep like uh, Vezra and Markle, the reality is is that we are subservient to the boot, and the boot is always going to be pushing down on us. Got to stick so together. So I'd rather we try to find the best ways to work together, despite that. I like I've that. I've come under some recent pressure too, but it's mine to bear. Well, if there's anything we can do to help you with it, you've done the same for us. I appreciate it. If it ever comes up and I do need that help, I'll know where to look. Mm. But for now, it's just more important that Tazim has the opportunity to heal. Yes. Um, but yeah, that's the grand tour. I like and, it. Uh, oh, actually, I'll show you one more thing. Ocean, I should show him the balcony. I think he'd really like that. Oh, I was offering true. someone true. who I, uh, I actually just met by the name of Sarah. Uh, seems to be very polite. Was drinking on top of a roof. Not something <laughs> I would do. The fishmonger's naturally. roof, uh, to be exact. Ew. Would I Smelly. get on a roof? I yes. Would I drink home. on a roof? No. <laughs> <clears throat> so, up here, we have... Um, sorry, I was... Distracted for a second, and I thought I saw hair. Elen, you here. do know you have a door at the top of your chambers that lead out here. We didn't have. have yeah, but it doesn't mean I want to parade every man in town through my bedroom. Anyway, there right. is uh, the balcony. You have a so, great view. If you ever want to, it, it's really nice, especially if you get on the railing and just sit on it. Mm. If you ever want to enjoy it, you're welcome up here. Oh, thank you. You'll see me up from time to time too. That's very kind of you. It's the least we can do for each other is share what space we have. It's not even mine, so if I'm going to be allowed to do what I want with it, why not? Right? Sure. Why not? Hmm. Ocean here is really helpful, too, if you need a uh, helping hand tonight. Uh, with the smithing. Hmm. We should be okay now that we've... Hand, I'd be more than willing to give it. Now that we've gotten the extra day and a little bit of iron, and we should be able to complete it by tomorrow. Definitely going to be staying up a little late, but it is what it is. Well. Ocean. Do you, do you still want me to go by there tomorrow to make sure that they are all done? Please. Just a little bit. <sighs> okay. You're getting a sweet roll tomorrow. Sorry, Shri. It's not the worst fate in the world. <laughs> Teaches you know, orders. Stoking your furnace. <laughs> he doesn't have to touch the metal. Stoking my furnace. I would prefer they didn't give me a difficult task. I would hate to mess up. I'm work. pretty sure keeping a fire going is within your wheelhouse. 
I'm referring to the working with the metal. I can stoke the. F I'll handle the metal. Don't worry. Tell you what, swing by like uh, later on tonight, and I'll let you know how I'm doing. If I need a hand, I'll bring you on board. If not, you go to bed early. Just don't abscond with him all the time. He's my assistant. Right, 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 right. Okay. Oh, it's happened, Ocean. You get to deal with it now. Oh, so anyway, boy, here we are. Offered my hands, now everyone's claiming me. <laughs> no, I did first. All right, sure you did. Yeah, that's how this works. I'm Either way, I don't know if you know this. Villain. How do... I know. How do we get on that roof? I don't know. I was I looking at that. I want to get on that roof. Yeah. That is an excellent question that I don't have if, an if I really find want out to how... get onto a nicer roof with pillows, because there's... N look at... I, I can't pay the tailor to make pillows. It's over here. If I find out how, I'll, I'll let you know. I'll my proprietor. That would be great. I also yeah. don't know what that building Maybe is. Maybe we can sneak up just... there. Hmm. They might get mad, though. You know, and I can't exactly jump very far or well. Well, what they're going to do, they just ask you to please leave. I think that's about the worst they could do for you. Oh, no, they could probably kill me. That's their home, isn't okay, it? Okay, well, no, don't go that far, but... Going into someone's home without their consent is not exactly... Well, you're going the on their home. Your no. idea. On their home. Yeah, on it, not in it. I tripped and fell on your roof. I'm right there with you. <laughs> Oops. I see it. Yeah. Look, I won't take up any more of your time. I'm uh, Foolproof. gonna skedaddle. But I do appreciate everything you've been doing, and if All you right, need Shuri, anything... Thank you for the talk. Of course. Pleasure. Again, Ellen. Ellen. Anytime you need anything, just stop on by. Of course. Oh, shin. <laughs> A pleasure, I'm sure you <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> of course. So, yeah, this is... Uh... <laughs> Fuck. Sharik, someone's been using your anvil. Whomst? Oh, um... Mm. Uh, Marcus did. <laughs> see, Marcus, yeah. if you look right here, you can see, like, it's almost as if someone fell off of a ladder from up there and landed their tailbone about right that? there. That's exactly what I was going to say happened. It looked exactly like that. Exactly. You have so much fucking shit in your hands for me. Oh, really? Do you want to take them off? <laughs> Yeah, I'm so on, let sorry. Me, let me show you all you got. Oh Wait, no! Where did you have this fucking clown? Clown no, car thing! Wow! Why do you have this shit? It's it's local. It's some of the chisel in your hand. Some of them, yeah. It's they're, they're a little fucky wucky sometimes. Careful with the end. <clears throat> Why you to ask the maid like person to clean this up? Hand. Wait, hold on. Wait, look at what I just did. I balanced the thing on the. Wait, hold. Hold on, wait. Oh, it's balanced. Oh. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> what in the... Uh, Don't what worry, I'm the... giving the anvil extra work. You give me that chisel. Thanks. <laughs> Stop oh, I have it. a chisel on me? Where did that come from? And a bowl. Why is that all and there? Turn. Where are you getting this from? <clears throat> Bjorning magic. Bjorning magic. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> That's the round magic. What the fuck is what this? <laughs> Dude, I. Uh... The props are weird. <laughs> I came out of a serious conversation inside to see it. Marcus's ass being impaled by an anvil. I hate this town. I hate it. <clears throat> it's impressive. 
Yes. All I want to do is run around as an old lady right now. But she's dead. Is she? There's plenty of old ladies in the world. There's plenty of, plenty of fish out of the screen, sea. There's so plenty of old alive. fish in the sea. If there's one this thing that I've, I've learned in my experience is never underestimate uh, the power of old people. And never leave them alone. Otherwise they'll oh, haunt you for a year, but... They're terrifying. They're fucking terrifying, I'll tell you that much. I'm an old people. Yes, but you haven't seen sheer terror. They're, these are different kind of old people. Uh oh. I see. It's a sea monkey. <laughs> I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm trying to. Uh, trying to. Play catch with your mom. Yes, yeah, son. Play catch. <sighs> oh no, he's a little stupid in the head. He can't. He can't figure out how to throw it. You're gonna be a terrible baby. I'm trying to flip it. Worry. Fuck you. I'm trying to flip it. Oh. Yeah. What the hell is baseball? Fuck. That's actually kind of hard. That's it's a grudging thing. Cup flipping. Judge how friends interact with each other. Probably for the best. Hold on a second. Let me see this thing for a second. If it's if it's even right here. Oh, you just <laughs> yeah. Props are wonky. Okay. okay. This yeah. bitch empty. It, it's one of those ones that makes the noise when it hits something. It's still in your hand. <laughs> ding, oh. ding. Give me that. I didn't actually throw it. What the fuck? Fuck you. I'm throwing this cup. Where'd it go? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. I suck at throwing <laughs> So fucking wonky. It's so wonky. Wait, hold on. I want to see how far I can throw it now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can do that with my axe. Oh, this I have to see. Oh, wow. I suck at throwing even more. What the fuck? <laughs> I think the guards will mind if I throw my axe into the middle of town. <laughs> it's fine. You old and neat. Okay, that's not much better. I didn't even see. Alright, throw the axe, throw the axe. Oh, I'm gonna get the hell out of the way if that's an axe. Back on. Give me a second. <laughs> can I just. Can I just. No, 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 no. <laughs> Roasted fish fillet. Alright, my foot doesn't actually want to turn back on. I must do it this way. <laughs> That's pathetic. I nearly got it in the in the, the oh, barrel there. Wait. Oh, it's like a. Oh, hold on. Can we get it in the barrel? Barrel bowl. Are you playing ye old medieval cornhole? <laughs> oh, I, that went really far. Oh shit! Wait. God damn! What the fuck did he call? Oh, buddy. Oh, ye old medieval javelin. It's a. Uh, I, 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 I thought it's better oh, if you do it underhanded. Oh, there we go. oh yeah, it's the trajectory. Mhm. Mm Are right, so the uh, the ham the hammer got lost in the back rooms, but uh, everything else I was able to recover. That's like we need that or anything. Aaron, do you have that uh, set of earrings? Yes, I do. Wonderful. Set of earrings. Hey, Vizrin, do you know how much about 20 feet of rope would cost? Well, it would need to be made first. And uh, if I recall, it's not very cheap. I'm just curious. I'm just uh, comparing excuse prices. Me. What about 19 feet? Yeah, we'll get that on our <coughs> That's a good one. Very funny. What about... Um, what about 11 meters? <laughs> How many yards? Look, I could get you a. <laughs> How many? 20 feet of rope for about a silver 20. Um, it's gracious. Oh, great balls of fat. I don't have that much money on me right now. I could see if I can get it cheap, cheaply made. 
Thank you. All right. You don't no have problem. to. I'm just looking lovely. at seeing at how much it costs for everyone. Happy to provide. Well, <laughs> well, um, I can go find out how much it would be to get it made, and if I had the materials to do that, I'll let you know. Hold on. Yeah. Thank you, Vesrin. Okay, you too? Oh, um. Would you be interested in buying more iron? Always. Are you going to charge me the same amount? I think that's about as much as yes, but we could get you 20 for about, um, I could make sure my companion marker gives you the same discount. We can get you theoretically 20 a day, but it would be about four silvers for 20. We don't have four silvers right now. Give us a bit to go work through this iron and then definitely we'll work something out. Sure. Uh, alternatively, we can copper. buy some in backlog. I have 70 copper if you want to buy some, then I can pay you for the two-handed axe. Though, I don't have Speaking much right which, now, so you probably have to hold on to it. <laughs> Do you think you could actually see to this now? Yeah, actually. I'll leave that for another time. Trinium. Um, I'm, I'm rushing. How much does it cost to repair? I'm rushing this order for the uh, the guards, but it might take a little bit, so... Um, mm. About... Uh, two silver fifty. Two silver fifty? Goodness gracious. Well, unfortunately, what. we had to pay a lot for the actual iron, so we're having to offset some of the prices a little bit. What if I bring you ten iron tomorrow, free of cost, in exchange for getting that fully put back up to snuff? Yeah, let's do it. All right. In that case, um, man, should I let you... I'll work on it overnight when You're I can. You're probably gouging me, aren't you? Uh, we only make that 50 copper profit out of this, actually, so. That's about a fair deal, then. All right. <coughs> then, um, you ready tomorrow? No, I'm still working on this order for the captain. I want to make sure I get that locked away before tomorrow, then. So, not tomorrow, the next day. How about that? Uh, then how about I, I'll just give it to you tomorrow? Done, yeah. Just remind me. Sure. Oh, and the blade, too. You have to give me the sword, too. Sorry. <laughs> right. What the fuck? Well, okay, that works. We'll be in touch, then. Very good, Vezran. Wonderful, hmm. wonderful. Can you fucking salute him? I'm fucking tired, okay? My back hurts. Been standing too long. I'm and in and out of character constantly. It's fluctuating, and I oh, just no. ah, da, da. look at my hand, and then I'm not another fish, and then I come back and low, I'm a fish, low and it's starting rin. to like <laughs> Raylan, Raylo, low Ray 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 low. Ray Ren, Ray Ren, <laughs> Ray Ren. <laughs> Raven, help! <laughs> Raven, please! Raven! Raven, Raven help! <laughs> little, little son, little boy! Little boy! Raven! Fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> don't, just keep walking, Hobbit. You, you don't see anything, okay. it's fine. <laughs> mentally scarring the hobbits down there. Oh, he's well, well scarred. Where did you throw my hammer? Uh, no, I told you, I lost it in the back room. You I actually don't know where it's going. Fucking <laughs> fish <laughs> bitch. Hey, thank you. That was my fault. Fine. And no problem. Hey. Back rooms. You know? I've never been there. I heard it's spooky. It's terrifying. I just spent the last eight years in it. It's great to see you, by the way. I missed you. 
Yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Hello, my strange family. Hello, Hello Sarah. How are you today? <clears throat> Sound more excited, will you? Do who you? Yeah, I figured. Do. What's the occasion? Wanting to forget. Yeah. I'm gonna sit by the firewood. That does. Yeah. I, I, I need yeah. to sit. My oh, legs are I'm warm. looking for a stool. Look right at now. these stools I made. You can produce one out of your bum bum. Ta da. Yeah, but they are weird. Oh, you can't grab there's them properly. Plenty, can do what the fuck do you want? Sure, you can. I just have to do it the right. I found out how to finally remember your name. Miss Tori told me a way to remember your name. Yeah. Oh, no. So I can remember Sharik better. Uh huh. Eh. How? She told me to think of. Uh, she told me to uh, think of Raylan screaming it, and then it comes to you. Huh? What? Uh, another way is if you like point your finger really hard so that you have like a little light that comes off it and then you point at me and then oh. you, you look at your other hand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't know what's happening. So p point really hard so you have one of these laser bits. Just think really hard and then look at your other hand I'm as you point at me. Point your finger directly at him. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I know that. <laughs> Tush. I see. Tush. That makes a little more sense. I kind of like the other way more. Sure, sure. Whatever works for you, buddy. Whatever works for you, gamer. Yes, uh... We were very bored. Also, Marcus impaled his ass, like, canonically in the, uh, um, anvil, and he got a major injury from it. <laughs> Yeah, so suffice to say, Marcus is gonna have a major pain in the ass for a little bit. Ha ha ha. He is a major pain in the ass. Mm -hmm. I should have found out his name's not Marcus. He told me that when he was on a roof earlier. Got that Marcusy. What? What? Talk the fuck out. I <laughs> Don't fucking look at me. Hope you hit your fucking something. <laughs> you wanna see something funny? Watch this. I'm telling. <laughs> it makes it sound like you're fucking. So Where the fuck did the stool go? Did you steal my school? St you bitch! <laughs> I didn't. No, your, your stool's right there. Your stool's right there. Look Wait, at the, look by the fire. Look, it's stupid. It's, it's in the fire. Oh! I'm <laughs> blind. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you dumped it in the oil. Oh, it's oil. Oh, oh you fucking <laughs> rain. <laughs> <laughs> That's Sorry, Capita. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is water. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh fucking it's god. It's been a long day. <laughs> it's been a long day. I see. Uh, Raylan, exactly how much have you been drinking that? <laughs> Every day. You should try this drink. It tastes like shit, but it makes my stomach warm and my cheeks red. Oh. Which means uh, it's good. What's that use? on your back? That's mine. That's not mine. What's that on your back? <laughs> I can't even reach the yeah. decibel that his fucking voice goes to. My voice just stops working. What's that oh. on your back? Oh. <laughs> My name's Cedric. Cedric. My name's Cedric. <laughs> Cedric. My boy. My boy. <laughs> My boy. <laughs> Father Hound. <laughs> I'm taking 
my boy. Flipendo. <laughs> oh, let me, um... I haven't been here before. Hold on. Oh, Revelio. What? What? Revelio. What? Draw magic. What? <laughs> <laughs> Just... Revelio. <laughs> Revelio. <laughs> oh my god, it's working! Fuck! <gasps> oh fuck, what can I learn about this? <laughs> Sharika, right, I thought you told you we weren't allowed to do drown magic out in the public. I, I'm not. She's drunk and she's just fucking throwing drown magic willy nilly. Have you seen the tiny god? Tiny god, where are you? Come back home. Actually, any water? I'll just get my own. Tiny god, for how drunk I am, please. I've decided she's very drunk, but I need to know how very drunk she is. Rope. Hope I'm rolling. Ah. I think you're probably gonna have to get oh, some water by the tavern. Don't oh, the well. They just you fucked up. I'm gonna get up. So, in terms of how drunk you are, wouldn't that mean you're really drunk? Grab it by the top, and then you gotta like go to the bottom. Just like sink down into the quicksand. Yeah, you you got you gotta sink down the ground and get in touch with the land. <laughs> Holy fuck, fuck Sarah. Here. Can I have some? Fucking ass. <laughs> yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. It feels so good, though. It feels so good. Oh, dear God. God. It's so strong. Kick the hobbit! Kick the hobbit! Whoa! <laughs> Fucker. Oh. You think you can fuck. sit down around here? You think you have rights? <laughs> Look at right. what he did to that thing! <laughs> <laughs> now beg for forgiveness! <laughs> no! Raylan, no! Raylan, no! Raylan, no! Oh! Why do I always come back at the beg worst time? <laughs> because we never stop! <laughs> Open your mouth! The forge ah, started burning my asthma, ah, and it's just invaded my brain. I'll make you do it. I'll make you. You better drink the it. The feeding the hob with alcohol. Drink it. Drink it. That's a good one. I'm in the Speaking, I'm not here to help with policing, so that's technically not my problem. Want a drink? Sounds like a good idea. Move on, and don't remember anything that you just saw here. Mixy, mixy, mix, mixy, 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 <laughs> That's a fucking spoon, you dipshit. Oh god. Oh god. Don't go with me. Oh god. Sarah, you wouldn't stab an Imperial, would you? My, my, my mug? Yeah, in the face. Uh, Why? <laughs> She's quite skilled at that. Oh, I've seen her be the man who just simply went up with a hand What can she possibly do with that? <laughs> Oh my god, that oh one doesn't come for me. <laughs> <laughs> She's a hell of a crack shot. You don't want to get close to her. And then this it comes is my new projectile thing. Oh my god, you're keeping it. <laughs> oh my god. So, uh, are you being productive with all this going on? How's it going? Can I'm actually being really productive, really and I appreciate you guys being here. I'm so proud of you. I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> I'm sharpening my sword now. Everything is awesome. Yeah. <sighs> Gee, that's, that's will Cause in the my brain hurts house. really bad. I'm going to finish this off and go I give them their mug back so they don't kill me. I just, I, I don't, I don't know what's going on anymore. Why don't we just take all of their metal mugs, throw them in the fucking furnace, and melt them down into fucking swords and shit? Is that how it works? I don't fucking you know. I'll be back, maybe, if I remember where I was going. Fair enough. Oh, God. 
Holy fuck. It's not getting bad, actually. Shit, that really fucking hurt. Fuck. Yeah? Uh, yeah, so That's good. Set burritos, but it doesn't look That's good. Burritos. You look like you're about to give me a PSA. Should be okay. Uh, a PSA? Yeah, a public service announcement. Oh, the hobbit. The hobbit dropped his butter knife. Especially spoon. I'm giving you a PSA Especially about fucking over spoon. hobbits. Okay. Hobbits should uh, be dealt with quickly and swiftly. Her They're a plight on this earth, and uh. She's actually really good at throwing specifically spoons. If it's anything. You're uh, else, Don't arm them. Surprisingly with racist. Anyway, yep. Throwing daggers? Nah. You oh know, my god. Hatchets? Nah. Only against hobbits. I'm gonna fucking cancel your ass. Careful when she has a spoon in her hand. Oh my god, no. Stefano just came yes. over here. I'm not the hobbits. It's cut. Some hobbits are good. You know what? I have a friend that's a hobbit, so I'm definitely not racist. How tall are you? I knew this one guy. I'm just curious. How tall are you? You're basically a hobbit. Fuck you. You little shit. I fucking hate you. What? We were about. Midway through, Frodo didn't die and for this. He stopped at this tavern for a few drinks. Biggie Smalls didn't um, die for this. And, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck he said. I don't know if, it, if he like assaulted her, if he, he you know, flirted oh, no, the wrong okay. way. But the tavern, mm -hmm. the barmaid, stuck a, a metal fork through his forearm. And I'm not saying forking hell. Like, just in, and I'm not saying <laughs> the forearm through his oh forearm. As that in, was low. In one way, out the other. <laughs> Dear we God. Were, we, were, we were too busy laughing our asses off to even, like, think about the idea of arresting her. Don't come any closer, or else you'll be shanked. And, and honestly, what do you need, Tang? At the end of the night, nothing happens to her. But we were, we were just so dumbfounded dink. by the fact that dink. she stabbed him dink. all the way through his forearm. Dink, 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 you don't want to dull that. You, you really don't want to dull that. It's just a butter knife. Uh, oh dear. Oh good, so we can bake all. That's probably true. <laughs> what do you, what do you need, Tang? Not the worst injury I've ever seen. A man I'm just coming over to give words of encouragement. You are an extremely skilled smith, and I have seen you improve. What do you think of this? That's definitely a, a highlight. What I can never expect when you uh, enter a tavern or, well, or I, I think it's great. Thanks, Sif. Uh, tend to make merry. Yes, <laughs> I'm not a blacksmith. I know, but it means uh, a lot. From what I can tell you, we're able to get the balance quite right, though everything is quite a bit lighter in my hands. <sighs> He's got the Tang seal of approval. But I also don't know that much about swords. <sighs> God, I am exhausted. Same. Today was a crazy day. Yeah. Mental impacts. Either. Well, <clears throat> well uh, careful. Last time we did that, I heard you crushed a skull. The mercenaries building. Uh, Seems really? like you practiced. Though. Make my way back to the you want to see? Oh God! No! 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 no. Please God! No! <laughs> Don't fall off the chair. I tossed your hair when you weren't looking. What the fuck, you Get tossed, bitch. My God. Get tossed. I'll be honest, your hair is very silky smooth. Yeah, it actually was in the bath earlier. That makes sense. Hello. <laughs> yes, it was oh, welcome back. Uh, here's experience. your knife. Oh, I've been Thanks. taking a day. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh Did I kill him? Oh, with the knife? Oh, okay. 
Nothing of value was lost. Oh, he's struggling. He's getting there. There we go. Eventually, wait for it. I'm so sorry to interrupt. My family. Oh. <laughs> a beautiful young woman, full of ale. That's Stick her, her in the bucket. I shall not. Is the princess expect to be treated as such? Oh, Therefore, I have oh my god, she's gentle. royalty? I had no idea. Damn you never told me you were royalty. I'm going to put you on your feet now. Make sure oh. you stand, alright? Standing? Got it. Yes. Lock my knees. Take good care of my little friend. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, pretty uh, ladies. Did you do? Did you, what did you do, to Mayland? I realized mm -hmm. what happened. I forgot to turn off my shoes. Be safe. I've been blessed by the goddess. Why don't you sit down a little bit, Sarah? Fuck yeah, there's a stool right there. Oh, yes. Oh, that's better. Whoa. <laughs> Did you know you can look upside down if you've been back far enough? What the fuck oh, are you doing? Oh my goodness. My back would not Wait, allow what, me to do that. What happens if you've been back far enough? <laughs> you old man. God, I hate that I have to grab this stool by its nuts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, uh, Tazim. Like three times now, I've walked by here. It's like a sword. Oh, Tazim! Hello, Mr. Tazim. <laughs> It'll be picked up in the morning. Me. Yes. <clears throat> that is me. Mr. Tazim, what happened to you? Life. Sometimes it just kicks oh. you and you're done. Don't worry about it. See. I'm okay. Fucking. It'll be alright, alright? <laughs> Tazim, what happened to your arm? You um, look funny. Okay. What the captain that? of the guard broke it. His order wasn't done on time. Well, how is that your fault? It's a fucking arm. It doesn't matter. I'm sorry, Sazim. Would you like me to return the favor? No. Okay, I'd like no one to do that. I must have missed it, but you were talking to me about it. Shuri, how much iron did you get out of those two weapons? Oh, so, out of those two weapons we got, uh, four iron in total. That's our current stock, but I also paid, uh, two silver to have Vezarin deliver us ten iron ore, so we can get to smelting that as well, down the line. That's awesome. I, I might have a bit of information for you. It's, uh, about, uh... Well, then, then, when I visited there, spoke to a company there, uh, Sartooth was a name. Uh, I didn't make any promises, but it's, uh, something that was on the table. I might be, uh, working for them. Um, Vezrin... I, I didn't make any deals intentionally, so... It told me not to you two. So. Well, I didn't want to speak in your, in your place. If you're so thinking about what's, going, what is that's that up to Shuri, not me. Mm -hmm. I need to find this one. What for? What the fuck are we supposed to do about that? About what? Him? His fucking arm's broken. How is he supposed to do his job? They've just made it harder for him to com- It doesn't make any sense. Well. I swear men don't use their fucking brains, ever. No offense, Kyler. They have Kyler. He's capable, he's a capable smith, he's able to do it. Mm. And I have 
been working with some but healers to get problems. a bone healing potion. I ju it just doesn't make any sense why they would hurt him. I can understand they want to punish him for not getting it done. But that and they knew that Kyler. Work. It's not going to change Shariq anything. Was either. good enough to. And that's the. Th and that's just the sheer fact of it. It's not. It, it wasn't meant to make sense. It was on purpose. And that much is clear as day. No, you're not making any fucking sense. It doesn't make- there's no sense why they would do that. They're just stupid. All of them. He's an asset to this town. And they were pissed yeah. that he couldn't get the job done in time. We thought he, we were, he was just to going to get lashed. Next off, time I'll make sure to so. fucking shove some coal up really? my ass and squeeze really hard and it'll come out as iron. What? Yep. No. Unfortunately, that's... People often take uh, poor <clears throat> routes and think it's wise decisions. Do you have a moment to talk about something? Yeah, sure. Uh, I don't want to interrupt if you're working, but... No, I need a break. Yeah. He's been working all day, he could use the break. I'm trying to finish this fucking order by tomorrow. <sighs> Holy shit, she's got her Heelys on. Uh, oh my god, my Heelys. It always puts my fucking hat back on, I don't know why. <coughs> Is it Sweden. open? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I talked to Miss Torty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. oh, that's comfortable at least. What's on your mind? I um, I saw something today, or I didn't. I don't. I don't really know what to make of it. But now that I'm proper fucked up, I can think about it more. There's, uh, footsteps. They came right up to me, but there was no one there. I thought I was dreaming or something. And then it called my name. I thought I was, it was internal, I was hallucinating. I've seen crazy shit before that's not really there, but... I called out to it, and I was hiding against a tree, because, fuck, I was terrified. And an arm reached around the tree and almost about grabbed me by the neck. Claws and veiny skin. It kept chasing me, but I ran away, caught up with the caravan, I haven't seen anything since. Have you seen anything like that outside? Not in a long while. What? Just going off what you said, I, uh... I know you talked to Arn last night about what happened in Ledford. Yeah. We went down again and... Something that we assume is Risa was there. Oh my god, that's right, he did tell me. Based on... She was a beast now. What you've described her as, that's similar to what she was doing to us down there. What is she doing here? I don't know. I couldn't see anything except for the arm I thought I was... ...imagining it. She could appear and then disappear whenever she wanted to. She would call our names, only the people that were at Lidford originally. She did say I missed you all. I forgot about that. She said I missed you all, Sarah, and then she tried to attack me. 
sound about similar. Yeah. Fuck. So it was real. I'll need to tell on. Yeah. He said that means that she's looking for something. Could that mean <coughs> whatever it is is either with you or around you? I don't know. We're only assuming what she is doing. I mean, she. I don't know. I'll figure it out, whatever it is. She didn't seem to follow me into town, and if she did, she stopped following me. Yeah. <clears throat> Aunt said he saw her. A couple Just, of months ago, but I definitely haven't. So. She's by Corsetta. Not too far away. She can move. Quick. on the road. <laughs> that I experienced. Her footsteps are so heavy. But I drank to forget about it. Because that scared the fuck out of me. I haven't had any problems like that since I moved here. Let's hope it doesn't fucking start becoming a frequent thing. Ugh. I wish you weren't a blacksmith's apprentice. Sometimes. It'd be nice to have you out doing mercenary work with me. Someone I can truly rely on. I can pretend with the rest of them, but at the end of the day, none of them are drow. None of them are equipped. Sure, they can swing a sword, but... They'll never be like us. Yeah. <sighs> it's been a rough day for blacksmiths today, as well. What are we going to do about that? Because I am not of the mind to watch your father get pulled apart by this town for something he can't control. Maybe once the iron starts filtering in, things will calm down again. It's... Right now it's on me to do it all. And it wasn't just the iron. When they originally came to us, they quoted us, uh, well, I quoted them a week. We could probably get it done in a week if we pushed ourselves. And they said, have it done in five days. On top of the iron not being there, and on top of that, they only paid us, well, they haven't, they're going to pay us, if they even fucking pay us, half of what it would have cost. We haven't even made up for material costs from this whole order. We fucked from the start. All of them. We did our best to keep it up. And looking at Kyla, you see <laughs> deep fucking bags under his eyes. He's not slept in like two days, roughly. We've been trying to keep up with it, but... We could want to help you. I just don't know how. That's the frustrating thing. There was nothing we could have done. There was no option here. I... Doesn't that just make you feral? Don't you ever just want to fucking lose it? Capitan didn't break Arn's arm. Why is he lying? Because he made me do it. Why? A lesson, I suppose. The captain made me do it, not on. Uh, oh, sorry. What the fuck? It was either I'm sorry. I had to do it, or he would have done it and made it worse, and then that would have spurred Raylan on. I. You made the right decision. It's okay. Oh, 
I am in works with the Sawtooth trading company now. I know Vezrin is helping, but I will try to tie up any loose ends I hear. Get you guys some, maybe some stocked weapons and armor to sell that's already made for you. I can start stripping them off of corpses. Could have done that today, fuck. We killed so many of them. You were fighting today. Yeah, you see a large bandage on her thigh. Bunch of fucking brigands attacked a merchant's cart. They didn't succeed. Killed the driver though, poor man. Found this. It is an ornate, uh, like, white opal looking pendant. I don't know how much it is. I'm gonna go bring it to Vezrin soon and see if he can appraise it. Maybe don't put this pendant on. Why? You know what happened last time. <laughs> that was a locket. You wanna know something funny? It was never the locket. But it all started from there, no? From the place, yes. But the locket was just... a lie. I still have it. Carry it around to this day. <laughs> and she is gone. Therefore, this had nothing to do with her. I still haven't opened it yet. Good. I've had opportunities, but I'm scared. <laughs> I would be too. I never thought you still going into that fucking building would. I'm just putting the sergeant back. Sorry to disturb you. Would have spurred all that on. Who knows what freakish horrors are hiding in this land. We know one of them at least. But I always have a funny way of finding them. Hmm? Risa. You know... What are we going to do about that? Something else that's been plaguing me. The graveyard there, everyone who was buried was dug up, right? They dug themselves out. Risa. Mm. And down there we saw Nicholas. I know Arn told you about that. Mm. Speak of the devil. No, come back in here. Couldn't tell if you were busy or not. Sarah saw the something only today. Time you need to not enter. Mm, yes. <sighs> or at least I think I did. Kyla thinks I did. Please, please don't. Tell him what you saw and he can make his own... I'm not going to keep it from you, I'm sorry. I was leaving Corsetta when... some... footsteps started approaching me. I looked around to see who it was coming from. Nothing. It then whispered my name with a follow-up of, I've missed you all. And as I'm backed up against a tree, wondering where this thing is, a freakish hand and arm wrap around the tree and nearly grasp at my fucking neck. And then it was gone. And it laughed. I ran away before I could see what it was. I thought I was hallucinating. You're not. So it did follow us. Why is it here? She seems sad. <sighs> Whatever it is. She's in between here and Corsetta now, and 
If she followed me, I led her right to notice. There were rumors that something happened with some of the hunters as well. I don't know. Fuck. Fuck. You're right, there was one of them coming out of the woods injured. On the way. I should have made note of that. Getting rusty. What are we to do? Nothing we can do right now. <clears throat> I, I've got too much to worry about. I can't even think so, about it. Right. Both of you don't need to worry about anything outside of the fucking forge, alright? I'm here to give you information and that's it. And if you can help solution, or come to a solution, that's great, but don't worry about any of the extra work. We have no silver. Violins out of that's silver. That's really difficult. On the bad side of the mm. Capitano. Which could mean on the bad side of the Redards. Is there even a good side to that man? Yes. The side where he ignores you and goes about his day, I guess. <laughs> I want to help, but if I, if I am going to, it's going to be breaking the fucking law. On. We don't want to do that. But now we get go. caught. If anything happens to that man, the only person who would have a reason to do anything to him would be me. Don't worry, Even I wasn't thinking about murder. More about thievery. Mm. I was uh, spitting ideas to Kylo in the unfortunate but very frequent circumstance I get into about of violence. I can start stripping them of their belongings and bringing them here to be melted down. Whatever I can carry, really, it won't be anything exponentially different, but it'll be something. Anything. A breastplate, a knife, a sword, whatever I can really carry. I don't have a lot of carrying space. They won't need it anymore, will they? Perhaps not. This is to say, going along with your merc work, and you're not going out just fucking killing people and taking their shit. It's to coincide with your... Sure, yeah, that's totally what I meant. Sarah. Merc work. I'm fucking with you. Yes, that's exactly what I meant. You can't- people- well, on the- on the unbiased side, people can't really go missing from notice, or else it's gonna get noticed. It's small, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. Especially in Imperial. We need to talk, you, me, Vezrin, Marcus. I guess I'm not included in that, huh? I don't know. I, I could be a worthy business partner. I just need to know what's going on. I don't know what he's talking about. Could you go ask him, maybe? I don't want to intrude. Thank you. I walk it on something? We're good, you can come in. Okay. Can I sit? Because holy shit, my back hurts. Yeah, sit down. They're upstairs also, talking for a moment. Sit. Oh, who? Uh, Kylo and Owen. Oh. Yeah, they I literally like just met. I guess I'll get payment in the- When are we starting the round? Uh, we were having we were a private conversation. But oh. It ended right as we went in the door, so. Perfect. I have great plans. God, that alcohol is fucking strong and I'm still feeling it. I'm too old to be getting this drunk. The fuck? Where the fuck did he go?
Celebrate He's doing DM stuff. Just got boring. Okay. Um, and I'll we'll probably what, celebrate four? when I hit a thousand. Maybe two thousand if I make it that far. <sighs> Fucking elves. He's gonna have to do something, I guess. Mm. I see. I followed him up and he vanished. I'm sure he wouldn't mind me joining. <sighs> Fucking neck. I am trying to help after all. Yeah, I didn't even know what this is about, so... Weren't we supposed to go do something tonight, the three of us? I think I that's on hold. In the morning, unfortunately. I couldn't even grab you two. It was a huge group. Really? Not like I could get Kyra away from the forge anyway. No. And I do have information about that. So you figured out what was going with the town? Forfeit, I wanted to go swim. Why were the fish not being fished? Why were they going hungry in a fishing town? I what don't was a mystery? know. What the fuck was that oh. noise? Oh my god, that was horrid. Don't ever do that again. If you want, I can, uh... Was that me? I did that? No, that was me, no. Oh, okay. If you want, I can save the explanation for what the proposal was when we went over to the other town to the Mara. If we're all tired. Anne is against it, though I'm sure there's sufficient reason why. Give me a too long didn't read version. There's a group called the Sawtooth, mercenary group, a uh, Sawtooth group. They were looking for mercenary and uh, merchant dealings. Uh, Basically, in trust, protection, and which I am now working for them now. You are yes, for this guaranteed. Uh... Yes, among other companies. Interesting. They promised a product uh, with that is discreet and quiet, uh, in a bulk price, more or less. Uh, The methods of acquiring it won't go, won't too delve into. So, it's up to your discretion as far as how to do that. I merely was, uh, the liaison. Let's make try to get the information. I've got a piece of paper that explains the deal more Do they concrete. go for prices? Do they say what prices? Yes, there should be information as far as on the, uh, the leave of that on your, on your table there, in our room. I'll look over, it, look over it over tonight then, I suppose. Yes. <sighs> I... Ultimately, it's oh, up to you, as far as the decision, so... 11.38pm BSD. It it's, is night time. It is night time. It is very late, yes. What's a PST? A penis. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm gonna go do a lap. Leave the door open if you would. I'll check and see if you all are still in here. Um... If I don't get to be a part of that talk, you'll catch me up, right? Sure. Even if he doesn't want me around, I still want to help, even if he doesn't know it. Thank you. Bye. Goodbye, Sarah V. Good night, Sarah. <sighs> so, what is this talk that she speaks of? I, I don't fucking know. Arn said we need to have a talk, walked upstairs, and when I followed him, he'd vanished. Is that. Is it something you want to wait for everyone, or just. I, I don't know! I don't fucking know! <laughs> <laughs> he just said, let's have a talk. I had a talk with you and Vezrin and uh, Marcus, and then he disappeared on me. So I don't know. I suppose we'll find out later then. Yeah. Those people gather at the bathhouse at night, you think? Perhaps somebody that you and your father need to speak to might be there. Perhaps you should collect them. 
Maybe Try just that. God speaks. Mm. Let's go. That I had a like great, great idea, go, Raven. Who... No, I thought of it first. No, it was my idea. Okay, I'm gonna say it first. Uh, I bet. I bet. Raylan, people going in there, the you're gonna house. dry out and probably die because it's hot. <sighs> Wait, really? But I like the. Enjoy, you Triton bitch. Leaving it in, it might melt. Hey, what's that now? I said if I leave it, oh. Come, house. Come with us. We're looking for people and we're going to the bathhouse to do it. Yeah, sure. I'll walk along. Oh, or not. Mm, no. We're going. Why are the roads so white? That's not, so. that's not what I meant either. Uh -huh. But, uh... <clears throat> ah, Sharik. Mm, got a moment? You need something. Tazim must have a meeting. I was just about to come out, so... Good luck. Oh, you uh, I need to go change too. my bandages. Oh, like I'm just fucking naked. You don't take a bath in clothes. Hi, Isabella. <laughs> Man, it's not to be ashamed of it. It's, oh, is just I should have checked here. Form. Why did I never check the bathhouse? People always go to the bathhouse. Form. Did you ever get the, the dragon house. fennel to Ellen for them to make it? I, I did. Did you enjoy your time here? I did. Sure, you did he give it? you the five and... coppers in savings? That's good. I'm glad. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank no? you. Just a bit to you. you. I got you five coppers in savings. So. I was bled dry. <laughs> I have zero money. Come on, let's go. By the way. We've got to go. We simply yeah, must no, away. No, no, no. Please. He loved it. He paid me a silver, ah, so I wanted to give you an extra cut. Just pure oh, wow, that is very pretty. Yeah, okay, that's Pia? actually very charitable of the nice. building. Oh, why not that? Appreciate it, but I mean, uh, 15 I, I have things to do. I have business things. Um, I have, I have business. I have business. You have the no healing problem. potion though, mm -hmm. Ellen? What do you- the I'll catch it potion. whenever you're throwing. Okay, so <laughs> it's a fucking- <laughs> I have one dragon fennel. Come on, Desmond. Go get so changed. I need to get dressed. Just give me a moment. No, no, there's simply no time. <laughs> and I'm he has to run around the town half naked, now, there's no way. <laughs> no, Vizrin. I have to change my do not have the time. Get closer, not in there. They are right Just there. let him do his thing. I know, I, I grabbed them. Mm. Um, Could you stop now telling I people spent about the incident? Money. Wait, <gasps> on his ass, literally. <laughs> and he's Hello. Can you Hello. Hi. Can you that rumor went through the whole town. Have you seen Bez? No, I don't know. The Bez run? Yeah. No, there's no in between. That we it's can all right. Oh! <laughs> wow! You know what? I'm missing some pieces here. <laughs> you forgot. There, there you go. You forgot your fucking pants! <laughs> I was just feeling really spry, and so... Um, oh. Anyway. <laughs> Loose hanging out, you know? Just... It's crazy. Anyways, uh... How are you looking? And now you? I'm not here to... What is with this large so group of Time to go. Let's, Time go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Go, go, go. We outie. Holy shit, we got everyone. I'm gonna start throwing shit. I am going to start throwing shit as well. I think there's... The whole fucking town is here. Fucking <laughs> You little shit Okay Let's go Let's donate fucking Vezrin Where is Where is Where is Vezrin you're, you're That's gonna have the to person drag we him. need You're going to have to drag him out of there uh, Pete grabs you by your penis And drags you out of the bathhouse I don't know if my ass can take any more of this Yeah Yeah 
I hear that a lot. Okay, good. All right. Let's All go. Right. Raylan, light the way. Welcome to the pod. Yeah, I thought we were all going to the pod. Nope. Uh. Is the way being lighted? Uh, good thing, good thing. Yes. It is. Ah, you know what? I see. <clears throat> yep. No. Oh. I don't see it. Oh, just got a waddle. Do we need a light? Uh, half of us are, well. Raylan. One of us. Yeah. Where, where's Sarah? Oh. What? Huh? Fucking the one thing you fucking do at night time and you're not doing it. No, my 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 no, sorry, light broke, okay? We're my going. light muscles uh, broke, okay? Your light muscles, muscles broke. Yes! Do more the, kegels. Ah, uh, I, mm. uh, I see. Oh, I Fuck you. Do more sense. kegels, really? That's what you tell me to? <laughs> That's no way to speak to your mother. Stepmother? <laughs> Stepmom, no. No, no, he's onto something. Uh -huh. <laughs> no. There's the steps. There's the steps. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Uh -huh. Oh no. Enough. Oh, sounds like it. Okay. Come on. Uh. Got everyone. Yes. Nothing oh, we can't handle. Mm, mm, more stairs. Yeah. More stairs. <laughs> <laughs> How big is this place? Goodness gracious. <laughs> this place is giant. Oh, you know what? He wanted you downstairs. Come downstairs. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you asshole. I love you for it. Oh, oh good. <laughs> this is like a wrangling cat. <laughs> You're gonna have to push me up. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. Oh, oh, it gets real thin. I'm too big. Well. Okay. Thank you. Stool hmm. oh, I'll lean Sorry. over. This is fine. I'll mention the story. Right. To the interior, interior decorators? Yes, hysterical. <sighs> I heard something today that has really concerned me. We might as well all be on the same page. <clears throat> you know how the Baron Amem is dealing with the Imperials, and they're acting as whatever diplomatic force that they're acting as. Yeah. Hi. I don't know who it is that the Baron Kovaz aligns himself with. But the guards were talking and preparing for some sort of reception for an emissary. Which wouldn't make sense if it was Imperial because they already have an established embassy. I thought at first maybe someone was coming from the embassy to the castle and that's who they were preparing for, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Has anyone heard anything about this whatsoever at all? Not at all. <clears throat> but, Who else would it no, be? News to me. Uh, I did some digging on Kovas actually. I don't know exactly what the emissary is, but I do know for a fact he is worried about his brother's position with the Imperials. He's worried that his brother has been going over their mother's head to do some decisions. Uh, he's concerned because he's... He worries that his brother might allow the Imperials to do patrols throughout the territory. Yeah. Imperial patrols with their own people, which, as we know, is not something we want. But he's worried that his no, no, no. brother is going over, technically, the house head to do this. So he may be trying to play against that. 
I don't know who with though. Is his brother aligned with Imperials? His brother is the one. Let Imperials. Amem. Amem is the one talking to the advisor yes. most of the time. Despite uh, Kovas's well, the Imperium is disagreement. A big arm. Why wouldn't they? Through. Especially if they need weapons and force. They said and especially yeah. considering the Whoa. especially condition the current uh, dynasty. It's not strictly related to Kovas, but um, the Imperial advisor. When I spoke to him at the embassy, I asked him why not just let Apex take over. And he said that would actually be the preferable outcome. I think he was lying. Because he's very dead set on keeping Amem in power. Kovas was also the one talking about trying to hire on the Sordillo Company. The big mercenary group in the area. He seems to be worried. Why would he want a Sordillo? Maybe he just wants anyone. Yes, but, uh, Didn't Sarah thinking, just say that she joined them? She works for the Sawtooth Company, apparently. Ah. Great. Oh, the all right. Sordillo Company. Right, what, what's the long con in that? Why would he be hiring them? Is it just to prevent the Vapex from hiring them? But the Vapex have more coin anyway, so they would be able to indefinitely make more... <laughs> Through the other dynasty. So what's the play here? What are they doing? The Sordillo company is also trying to uh, take on all the other smaller companies. It's trying to absorb them. So they're trying to grow their numbers because they know something's coming. So maybe they are privy to something that, well, I would definitely say they're privy to something that we don't know. Something that would yeah, warrant taking on any large mercenary group like that? Do we have any connections to the Sordillo? At all. Not directly, but I could see what rumors are floating Maybe around. Maybe Ren knows something. Mm. He's a mercenary. I encountered them alongside Aldo along the road. But that's about it. On the road? Yeah. What kind of men do they seem to, to get the... Oh. Well armored. Well armed as well. Um... They seem to be in it mostly for coin, but they look like men of good stature. That could also be a double edge. Saw them while trying to get the wood. They're many in number. My the reason why I keep circling back to this is it makes sense for somebody to try and get some manpower behind them if they're attempting to enforce policy or shake power or something of the sort but the way that Kovaz is painted is that he's lazy and doing nothing in fact that's what I believed of him until you've told me this yeah why he... would someone like that hire the Sordillo it is strange it is like two sides of a well, same person he's really obsessed with how the people view him to make sure that they see him as this great leader or something. But on the other side, he's going behind people's backs and trying to hire on a Merc company. I didn't take him for a... Why is he hiring confusing. a Merc company in the first place? Sense. Is he preparing for some kind of war? Well, if he's doing his best to try and garner the respect of the people in the town, he might think something's coming up where they would need... he would need their support, no? Leverage and power. Both fit. There's plenty of... Both in favor of military why, and mercenaries. But and the people. thing that confuses me is how is he funding this? As far as I'm aware, the Rudolph family is broke. That's a great question, mm. actually. I said he was looking. I didn't say he yeah, achieved it yet. How he hire a whole company? What, did the brothers have money hidden away? It's not possible, I guess. I wouldn't expect it. Kovas is always throwing his coin well, like he has it. all of it in the world. Every time he shows up, he's buying drinks for everyone at the tavern. That could just be a show. Perhaps deal with a third party. Know that may they gain coin through that way. Maybe they swore something to the company? They have an ambassador coming from somewhere. Maybe that's the source of the funding as well. It's entirely possible. I suspect it might be another dynasty. If they're going out of their way to talk about security and rolling out a carpet, it's got to be another dynasty. 
or perhaps a, a representative from the county council. I'm trying to think of a dynasty that would possibly be interested in saving Radant. Most of them are self serving. I'm not sure. That's why I somewhat lean towards it being from the council. Right? So they would have a mm. representative here probably to oversee a conflict that was coming. That's my guess. Wait yeah. a minute. Do you know. Did you get a look at this ambassador at all, or did you just only hear word? I've only heard that they're coming. They're not here yet. Do we know for certain that they're human? I have no idea. Why does that matter? Does, does that matter? Well, I've been thinking about something, and with the Imperial presence here, specifically with the Redards only, I, I, I learned that the Redards are the only Western barony to have an Imperial embassy. There's two more in the East, or sorry, two in the West, and this is the only one in the East. It's right on the border of Eshmethalos. It could be that Kovaz has played to the elves. Why would the elves want to are... help a Why would the elves backwater care about human town? Because this is their border, and they wouldn't want an imperial-controlled province, not only to their oh. south uh, west, but also all of Ereland. I see. Assuming they would be surrounded at that point. Encirclement. True. Yeah. Mm. I wasn't aware Complete that the staging elves ground cared to start about up the everything. Seems it's a quite thing. indifferent. They didn't they before. Were never involved. Even at the time that I spent at Ledford, uh, there was twice that Gavis had sent a messenger at his father's behest to the border. The first one. I even. Um, was just sent right back, and the second I think you heard about was killed. Oh god. I even tried to get in touch with my family at the time, and... You know how that went? Sent assassins after me, and assassins after my uh, uncle, but... <sighs> oh, sorry, I had to go through that. <sighs> that could be the way oh, Kovacs is trying to present it, or going to present it. To the people from Asia Mr. Loss. He's already got concerns that his brother is going to allow Imperial patrols in the area. I'm sure the elves wouldn't like that. This is assuming that the, the embassy is Ejmit Loss. I don't think the council Outside would... of the council getting directly involved, yes, it's mm -hmm. it's the only one I can think of that would have enough power and money to fund something like the purchasing of outright of a mil of sort of Dillo company, mercenary company. <clears throat> well, what I don't understand is why they bother. I understand that they wouldn't want the Imperium right on their border, but... There are many other ways they'd be able to deal with that other than this. Why they play yes. with human diplomacy. That doesn't make as sense. As far as I was concerned, the hells could care less about human diplomacy at this rate. Maybe they're hiding something? Playing for time. Yeah. They don't want them to see it. they be hiding here? No, they I don't have know. no reason to. That's mm. shit. And not to mention, we probably don't want anything to do with them anyway. Absolutely. Right, considering the no. past. Right. In fact, mm -hmm. for some of us, they might be more of a threat. Oh. I... If you think back to our time in Ledford. King wants me actively dead. What? You pissed off the it's king of the story. elves? How the hell did you do that? The, well, the king thing. of the elves? The thousand <laughs> year old... Uh, <sighs> yes. It's a long story. Okay. That's not the only thing. I would ask questions. Hmm. If they come across the wrong things... A domino effect is what I'm getting at. You remember what happened in Vidaria? I do. Long story short, we were tasked with something that involved with closing one of these archways because it was opened incorrectly, or whatever that means. 
It was pouring wild magic into your area around it, making things worse. That's the best way I can put it. We yeah. succeeded in doing so. But there was a small contingent of elves from House Ienda, the ruling house. You ran into elves in Bedaria Forest? In House Ienda? They were not willing yes. to speak. Elves from a noble King. house. The king's house, you said? Uh, yes. Vedran was so able to king's... identify it from their armor. House elves were in the Badaria Forest in Ireland, next to a portal that was closed incorrectly, spewing evil magic. They were in the same room That's as the portal, actually. It's good that it's closed. Jeez. It wasn't spewing evil magic at the time. Oh. How I did it start spewing evil magic? <laughs> well, that just proves that the elves care about Points. human diplomacy. If they're willing to go to our land to figure out this, then... Is the it human is, diplomacy? Sorry. The point is... If there is a domino effect, and there's somebody shrewd here that may get wind of it, we're in danger. Oh. Hey. But we need to find out if this Baron Kovas really is dealing with the elves. I, I'm hoping that's not the case. I, I would think it would be someone from the capital, from the council, a marshal to oversee this suspected change in power. Everything that you've said about this Major Tobman makes me think that they're expecting a change in power, despite their goals. I have a hard time believing that they were truthful with you. What was your read on a mem? He seems like, at first glance, an honest military man, but something definitely stuck out about the way he advocated for, oh, the Vapex would be the better option of the two, uh, but, but we definitely want to make sure Amem stays in power. It, it was certainly a major um, point of intrigue to me, but it turns out, fun fact, he was actually supposed to be the man who originally led that um, attack when the Imperials first invaded Ariland. Apparently he got um, shunted out of the role of command uh, by the Inquisitors who took over. You remember all of those cannons being destroyed way back then. He got the blame for that. That's why he's in this backwater mm -hmm. post. So corruption and laziness is not why he's here. At the very least, he's still got his wits about him. That's worrisome. Indeed. If he's trying to prove himself worthy of getting back the right power he had. He's not. He believes his career is on the way down. He knows that, but he's a man who I think is going to act and he's going to act to his orders and he's going to do what his job demands of him. Which is great until it demands of them to fucking start. Pulling it's not the hell in the city. Can that provoke a response this close to the border? Hard to say. Are they trying to provoke a response? A reason. You think their next target is Zeshmatelas? I, I think they're no trying idea. to invoke a war? I don't think they... I don't think the Imperium is. There's no way the Imperials are ready for we're another war, especially against Eshmith Alas. The, the horrors that we saw in Ireland. There is no yeah. way. Perhaps mm. it is Eshmith Alas who is looking for a reason. You think Eshmith Alas is taking the offensive? Perhaps. There to be the aggressors, maybe? That wouldn't be seen Pushing as aggression. In their weakness. If they could It'll secure be seen the as Imperials defending. to be pushed out. Or that. Yeah. A defensive campaign. Hmm. So basically, sure. we have to find a way to get the Imperial Embassy out of here. Before elves intervene and call it a defensive war. Well, that's and we all end up all by itself. Good luck. Oh my god. 
It's not impossible. Would the elves not be beneficial in this no, situation? Uh, besides the, you know, king wanting you dead. If they push out the Imperials, we would be in free. No? I don't know. War is a war. That is true. This sounds right either way. way. <laughs> Speaking of cities. Because I can't move. Do anything useful? I spent most of the day reading. I was looking at some of the books that we had about the surrounding area and such. There's not too much public information about the Vapec family, but they do have one son um, uh, among two, I think. I don't remember the name. It had Elf in it, Red Elf, or Renaud. something like that. Red Elf, yes. Red Elf, yes. Um, He's a mercenary benefactor. Uh, yes, that. that's what they said at the Satus. He's admired by a lot of these mercenary companies because of feats of strength and tactical prowess. My concern is that he wins over the Sodillo. And if that's the case, I don't think that they'll wait anymore. I don't think there's anything in this province that could sh stay off whatever the Vapex already have, plus around 800 men plus. Hmm. Even if we had sufficient men, our walls are barely to even stand. Any attack would be... Walls. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, what walls? Do you think we should try Maybe. to get in touch with the Vapex? I don't know. If the Vapex do invade, sides of the, story, right? the first thing that Amem's going to do you is go to the Imperials. The thing is, the Imperials are practically starved out of their fortress. It's all they can do to keep it up. They've got no regular supply of food. They've got no regular armsmiths to work on their arms. They are about mm. as well off as the Radar dynasty. God, speaking about food... Did you know that the fucking Vapets own our biggest source of food? The Trident farmlands north of here. One of their sons owns the entirety of it. Most of our food is really... imported from there. Right. If the Vex really wanted to cripple us, they could starve us to death. Which they do be before they invade. Done anything. Mm. Mm. We should start starving. They've done that for a while. That might be why the Radards haven't done anything for years. Probably far before we came here, even in the time of Juldar, I think. They were weakening them. Question is, what the fuck do we do about it? Because we're stuck in the middle of it all. What do we even want to do about it? We don't know what After the sort of. The keep on the silver platter. <clears throat> Hope they spare the city. Oh gosh, that would be. Like you said, they, they need to keep the means Hopefully. of production. However, humor me. Let's say you're right. Let's say you're right and the elves are involved. The pecs are very close by. They're a lot better off. And there's no Imperials in their province. And they're adding pressure to Nodders. If this house dynasty was in bed with whatever elven official could be, mm -hmm. I mean, they would have secured a entire coastline with ease. Wait a minute. And it would look one like human biggest, aggression. One of the biggest exports of, of the Vapex lands is elvish trade goods. How do you know that? Hmm? I mm -hmm. study these things. I've, I've I've been looking at the recent, um, I don't know, economic figures. Figuring Elvis out what baronies trade what. Well, if you can, if you can prove the it's connection, why and find a name. Goods. 
I mean, and yeah. um, food, yes. If you find a point of contact that would get you far, sure. Point of contact, eh? We've got so much on our plates, and we're going in eight different directions at once. We need funds. We need to make sure we have a way to escape if necessary. We need to stock up on food in case they decide to try and starve out Rodas. We need to find out what Kovaz is up to and what he's planning to do. We need to know if it's going to come to blows if a man finds out. Hmm. I can see if I can find a in the city. a way to slip us out of the city if need be, and I'll too many innocents. look into Kovaz a bit more. I don't want to go through another siege. There wouldn't be a siege. There's no walls to hold. It'd be a slaughter. slaughter. No. I don't have the supplies to rebuild, even if I could. I'll commission. <laughs> the key is the only thing that has any type of defense yeah. here, and that's it. No, I made some headway on, but something to the think. Thing that we talked Food about for thought. yesterday. Which aspect of it? Getting a meeting. Oh, it's going to take a lot of doing, but. Basically, if I, and this doesn't leave this room, but if I can help the Sawtooth Trading Company get a warehouse in the city from one of the smaller uh, trading companies in the region, we might be open to diplomatic talking. Uh, getting that regular influx of iron and stone to the city as well would be... Okay. If we give him a stick and knowledge, he has a reason to protect it. He's yes, well, uh, That's risky, too. There's a lot of different factions at play here, and none of them are gonna like that. Right. Indeed. Help one, you piss off the others. Are we sure that's a good course of action? I don't know. But if it gets iron and stone to the city and we can build up our walls, it's an option. It just depends on what we want to do. Hmm. I suppose so. If we gain more perspective, we'll know which direction's more, at least, beneficial, right? I suppose. We need more information. Regardless of which direction we go, it's a risk either way. We all lack critical information right. for every direction. I think... One of these times when Kovaz goes to the bathhouse, we should try and talk to him. I tried to get him up a bit. Oh, socialize? Mm. Maybe tomorrow. He does like to drink a lot. He's one to talking. Probably tomorrow. I managed to. Some of the working girls with him. Yeah. I managed to listen in on him talking to one of the girls last time he was there. That's how I got that information. I could try that again and see if he spills anything else. Just be careful you aren't caught. Yeah, you know me. Yes, please be careful. Alright, well, at this point, we're just talking in circles. We have an idea of what to do. And what's on our plate. We need to put feelers out and I... figure it out before it bites us in the ass. What should I try to ask Kovaz? Any suggestions? Find yeah. out well, what he thinks of his brother. Bring up the state of the city. Concerns as a merchant, perhaps. Hmm. Get the first thing right. that's on his mind. The most important. Good ideas. I like that. No, I feel like I, they don't listen to me. <laughs> I told them what he thought of his brother. A siege, or something similar. If we have any extra iron, I'll see if I can start getting us our armaments back, just to be safe. Right. Oh. Indeed. We can get you, um, myself and um, Markle. We can get you twenty units a day, but uh, it's still significantly expensive. It'll be. 
four silvers a day. Uh, I've worked out something with them. Uh, Kyla, you'll get ten free tomorrow in exchange for repairing my sword. Um, Very well. Let's see. I'll do what I can to pay. I know Wolvia is uh, also um, able to get this same connection. You could have up to 30 units a day. If you talk to if her. If you can get that iron flowing in, I can get to selling it weapons, tools, and take care of us with ease. Yeah. And whatever iron you get, Border knows his way around an armor smithy. Right. Good at least on that front. Right, I've taken another reason. Right. <clears throat> would you be, um... Would you be interested in this? <clears throat> it's a precision pot. Picked it up from a traveling, uh, elf. Huh. Huh. That's... It's more of a engineering kind of thing, don't you think? Uh, crossbow... Yeah, more than I... just look at it. Uh-huh. I'll do with that then. Do you know if he's recovering? If you find, or uh, back or if you find larger parts, there's that um, water mill outside of town uh, by the stone bridge. That might actually be a way to get in good with one of the redots. Yeah. Mm. Chan. It's run down, so if you get it back, that increases production. Interesting. I'm not sure if it would be but, useful for that, but I'll ask him. We need help on the precision parts, and I need wood and stone to rebuild the foundations. But yeah, that's one way to get favor with them. You stone in the wind. It's in the hat. Tang might be the best way to go. As for wood, Tang's been getting me stone. Uh, absolutely. Shift's been offering uh, work closely, so perhaps I'll talk to them. I can yeah. also get big bundles of wood in as well. We can get you 20 a day, and with wool buyer, you might be able to get 30 a day total. And once you have the mill up and running, you can use it for damn near whatever you need it for, so. Right. That would be helpful. What's the mill useful for mm-hmm. other than milling grain? You can use it to uh, make it into a sawmill. It's. When you have a mill with a river running through it, it's a large amount of torque and force upon anything ah. you wish. So it could be I grain see. or saw or anything. Yeah. It could be reconfigured to do any type of service. I, I, That's absolutely. automated. The limit is only for the engineer. Yeah. Fair enough. Right then. Well, that we is know what we're going to do then. <laughs> right. So. We'll try and make some moves in the coming days. I'll keep an eye out for this dignitary. If I see him before anyone else, I'll let everyone know. Specifically, you. Reasons. Right. All right. I'll keep my ears out in the streets. I'll keep my ear open. <clears throat> How are you, by the way? That's a lot. Yep. I was hoping you could use the hammer with the anvil. <clears throat> The jarring of the steel on steel is too much pain. I can't do it. Hmm. Sort of minor healing potion I picked up from uh, that same elf. I don't know if that would help. Oh, it certainly help Marcus. As for me, I need whatever that bone potion is. Oh, Shut up the bone without breaking his skin. I see. He broke his tailbone falling off the roof. <clears throat> Right, I'll see if he wants it. Thank you. Oh god. I'll see about helping Ellen get you a every. I think I need a nap. Thank you. I think we I think that's we both need that. It'd be great it'd be nice to see you sleeping. I've been wrong enough before, why stop now? Good man.
No going out this tonight, all right. Let's stay here. I'll have to, uh, still work on the forge. At the very least, sleep till dawn, then wake up, so you can finish those last two parts. I'll see how I go. I may just completely pass out. I haven't slept in two days. I so. Thank you for today. I will try to wake up tomorrow. You're welcome. For now, it's my stuff.